in this example, we're going to use subprograms to mill these clovers. Notice that the pattern is interrupted by two bolts. In order to do this, we cannot use the XForm function. We will use an option inside the depth cuts function of every toolpath. In order to do this, we're going to need identical chains. I'm going to switch to multiple machining region because we're doing more than one chain. And I need identical chains. So that means they have to start at the same place and they also have to go in, in the same direction. Every chain must be identical. Okay, there we go. The other thing we need to do is open up your depth cuts, okay, and change your depth cuts. Let's analyze how deep this is. It's negative 0.5 inches. If we go into depth cuts, I don't want depth cuts. In this case, I'm going to get four of them, correct? So we need to do something bigger than 0.5. That should be bigger than 0.5. Let's turn subprograms on and let's make them incremental subprograms. Let's do the same thing for the contour. A shortcut would be to drag the geometry into the lower geometry, and that drags all 13 chains in there. Let's open it up, go to depth cuts. 0.5 is all that's needed. Subprogram to make no depth cuts. Incremental mode. Going to regenerate both operations. Let's post them. We can analyze <coughs> the post. Posted code quickly. P1 changes location. P1 changes location, G90 mode, absolute mode. Then P2 changes location, absolute mode. Let's analyze the subprograms. They're all in incremental mode. It looks like it's going to work real well. The Simcoe editor has the ability to backplot subprograms. This looks like it's going to work out great. 